if you let me in and that door's still open, I could wheel that bin out within seconds. And you've got, you've... Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're gonna to take a look at Pear Tree Road Police Station. Located in Derby, DE23 postcode. They call it Derby West Pear Tree Police Station. Loads and loads of vehicles outside on show. He's just been to collect his lunch. That guy has just gone in there. But yeah, let's have a look around. A little nosy like we normally do. No public access. We're seeing this more and more now on these gates to make sure we don't wander in by mistake. That's nice of them. Nice of them to put their bins inside their area this time and not just dump them out in the public areas that we, we see so often as well. But what a small little yard, eh? Not very private at all. But I can't see anything wrong with the number plates, so we'll move on. In the back lot, in the cage, where you get put when you get uh, arrested. I think it's got two cages in there. No, just one, just one cage. Making sure they've not left anything on show. Please do not knock on the door for attention. It will not be answered. Okay, okay. We won't. But then we have this uh, Volkswagen police van. And although it's still, they've still left enough room for a double buggy to get past. Parking on the pavement. I've always got a rule that pavement are for pedestrians. Roads are for cars, pavements are for pedestrians. Because look, you've got a, a waste bin there that people, just to put something in the bin, you'd have to come right near the police vehicle. And you know how touchy they are about getting near their police vehicles. So I wonder if they're gonna say, oh, what are you looking at our police vehicle for? What are you getting so close to it for? Because it's on the bloody pavement, that's why. But yeah, as I say, they have left enough room for a double buggy to get past, but still not a good look, is it? I don't suppose there's many places where a long vehicle like this could be parked, really. Right, so we've got some opening hours here, Monday to Friday, 10 till 4. So I'll just check on Google to see what that says. And on Google, there are no hours, so it is worth checking. The door is obviously locked. Please use yellow phone next to the door to speak to the call handler. So do we really want to be communicating via a telephone just to update the opening hours? Hi right, mate. Is it um, 10 till 4 still? No. Yeah, so you got an no, um, an inquiry office normally doesn't need an appointment, does it? If, any, if a member of the public comes and wants to report something to an inquiry office... It's then, open, it's just they have to let you in. So there's staff in there? Yeah. Brilliant, okay. Yeah, just pick up the yellow phone if you need it. Okay, right. brilliant. You don't need to report anything, do you? Um, I'm not too happy about the van being on the pavement, but is that normally the case? It's just weird. It's just, well, there is space. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not doing that, mate. Yeah, yeah. is, is it normally part there? Because I've, I've travelled to, to visit this place today. No. Not normally there, not no. Not I'm aware of. Well, it's, it's actually left enough space for a double bugger. So it's not a, an urgent concern, but, but yeah, seeing pavements are for pedestrians. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right in that, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm just having a look round. Yeah, no, um, the, the only thing I found is you've got a 10 till four there. On Google, there's nothing at all. And when a member of the public comes and tries the door, it's locked. Because of COVID, they, they, they've limited how many people they let in. So yeah. That's why if, if, if you have an issue, pick the yellow phone up and then they dial it through to them. Whoever, whoever picks it up on the yellow phone will dial it through to them. Yeah. And then she'll you in. Yeah, it seems like a lot of hassle for someone who just, who's just come in 
because it, it, that sign reads please use the yellow phone and they normally go through to 101 don't they yeah and then it just when you ring 101 i don't know if you notice but it, there's such a delay to be fair we've had issues with the 101 system since yesterday <laughs> right Anyway, I don't want to hold you up, mate. Oh, you're not on a job? No, I'm just getting my dinner out of the car. Oh, right, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, thank you, mate. Cheers. If the police station is closed, please telephone 101. So the way Pear Tree Police Station are operating, they've got a sign that says they're open 10 till 4. The sign on the door says please use yellow phone next to the door to speak with a call handler who will then be able to assist you. But then the phone tells you, number one, if you're here for an appointment and two, if it's an emergency. So we're not here for an appointment because most people will just turn up and do their reports, ask their questions. So we have only got the option of number one really because it's not an emergency, that's for sure. So let's have a look, have a go. Hello there, is this the Pear Tree, Pear Tree Police Station? All right, are you on the front desk? Yes, yes. I want to uh, visit, I want to have a look and I want to check the opening hours. Ten till four, Monday to Friday, and uh, and do you have a toilet in there? Okay. Have you got a knife amnesty bin? I'd like to have a look at the knife amnesty bin, please. Thank you. Is that it? Is that it, yeah? <laughs> Could I speak to you about it? So I'm here to uh, check a few things to see if um, regulations are being followed. Unfortunately, this knife amnesty bin needs to be securely fastened to an anchor point. That's very high risk. I know you're manning the door, but if you let me in and that door's still open, I could wheel that bin out within seconds. And you've got, you've... Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, no problem. Um, could we stop this door from doing that, please? You either have to stay that side of the door. Okay, or okay. Because it, um, it's, it's on a sensor. Okay. So the, while you're standing there, it's the, the, the van that's parked on the pedestrian footpath outside, it has left enough room for a double buggy to get past, right. but it's not supposed to be on the pavement at all. Right. That's the second thing. The toilet, is that the toilet? No. No, okay. No. So the toilet is not actually publicly accessible anyway, so that's no, fine. We normally check the disabled pull cord to make sure it's compliant. Okay. So the only thing really then that, that we've noticed, and that's an urgent concern, I would remove that from the public foyer immediately. I will, I will sort that. Right. Leave that with me. Okay, and who have I reported that to? Uh, my caller is 6918. 6918. It's a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, on Google, there's no opening hours listed, but I'm just going to add those on now you've confirmed that they're correct outside. Yes. The local community use Google Maps. It leads you here, but there's no hours listed on Google. So I'll update that as well. Okay. Thank you. I'll leave that to do its thing. 
So yeah, unfortunately, um, we found another one of those uh, knife amnesty bins that just seem to be unsecure that we have done the community a service here by pointing that out. Pear Tree Police Station should not be leaving that unsecure. That's the view from the back. Very, very small yard with no police vehicles in it at all. They're using this area purely for their private vehicles. And all the police vehicles are just being put at the front in the open areas. So whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. But I think this uh, secure area at the back should be where the police vehicles are kept. But yeah, I don't see why. Uh, don't see why not. As long as it's uh, not blocking any any areas. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just um, seeing if there's anything odd going on. Oh, you're one of the auditors, are you? Yeah, do you know what I found so far? Very worrying. Do you want to know? Uh, what, so you are? 15392. Okay. Um, do you know how you've got a knife amnesty bin inside? Yeah, we've been notified of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was speaking to the ladies, they're logging in now. As we yeah, speak. yeah, yeah. That's, that's one odd thing. Second odd thing is um, the vehicle being parked on the pedestrian footpath. Mm -hmm. There is enough gap for a double, double buggy to get by. Okay. But I mean, you've got a you're blocking a litter bin and stuff. It's it don't really look nice, does it? Yeah. Um, there's loads of space for that to go here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just find out if I can get an officer. To but no, listen. I don't want you to be doing things just because I'm here. I'm just yeah. observing and seeing what I can find. Yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah. Because that is definitely a risk. I won't want that knife amnesty bin no, to get no, in the room. Like, like I said, it's yeah, shorter yeah. Than speak, but so. this is not a problem because the double buggy can still get by, yeah. and that's the widest um, thing that's going to be on a pavement. So. Yeah, pretty much. It's just that if somebody wants to put something in the bin and they can't see it... I think the, the issue we have here is obviously with the parking because we can't bend around here because obviously the tree and the pavement so then, think, and the car park at the back is extremely tired as well and we're not allowed to park at the medical centre. Yeah, I've noticed that your own car park, your secure area, yeah. is currently being used, used for personal vehicles. There's a lot of personal vehicles in there, right? Your car, for example. Yeah. It, that, that area, with it being secure and so big, it really should be used for the police vehicles. There's no police vehicles in the back at all. It's solely being used for your own personal vehicles. So it's, you're giving priority to the best space for your own vehicles. And whether that's wrong or not, I don't know, but it, okay. the result is that. Okay. So I'm just observing. We don't usually, you don't usually have this vehicle here. It's very odd. Well, basically, there has, been, there has been some jobs going on. That's why the vehicle's yeah. here. Obviously, okay. I can't confirm or deny that because I'm not, I'm not normally here, but I can take your word for it. But yeah, I'm just standing for a bit and just seeing what I can see that shouldn't be happening. Cool. Okay. And it will make an interesting video okay. and hopefully have some change. Because I'll give you an example. Um, only two days ago, I was at a different police station. Which one was that? In Leicester. I was at a different police station and I, I saw exactly the same thing about a knife amnesty bin being unsecure. Okay. So I tweeted the force mm. and they removed it from public lobby until an anchor point is going to... That's what they're going to do. Yeah. I think they're going to anchor it as well. Yeah. No, no, fair point. No, that's fair enough. I, 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 was just, I was just coming here because I didn't know whether you wanted to record anything or not. So no, no, no. Just uh, making sure that you're happy and, and everything's fine. I'm just observing just to see how you do things here. That's fine. Amazing. Right. Have a good day. Sir. And you, mate. Thank you. Normally I like to see how fast the gates are opening and closing but on this occasion we won't need to because all the vehicles are out on the front because of course this area is reserved for themselves. The unmarked pair shows that Derbyshire right to use there. Here's the kind gentlemen that are now moving the vehicle for us. As I say, it was not an obstruction. It was just an observation.
now look at this you've got all this space walking along if you feel like you, you want to put some litter in a bin you can easily see it and you'll put your litter in the bin there nice and easy with no obstructions to the pedestrians and then you can carry on along your merry way enjoying the freedom of your pedestrian footpath just the way it's supposed to be perfect so that's about it from Pear Tree Police Station here in Derby a bit unusual how they're keeping the the secure area the largest area for their own vehicles and dumping all the police vehicles wherever they can on the front but it is obviously the procedure because it clearly says marked police vehicle parking only in two big signs there so yeah they might have a bit of an issue with parking but then don't uh, don't bring a big van here because you've got nowhere to park it it's great to hear that they are going to take urgent action on the knife amnesty bin there how it's not secure that's amazing to hear and yeah the constable that had a word of us outside was nice and polite and it now looks like he's rushing off to a job so will we see any blues and twos on his exit let's see before we end this video it certainly look, looked like he was in a rush to me he wasn't even actually parked in a parking space himself and off he goes off to do his very important work so that is it from Pear Tree Police Station we're going to update those hours on Google those 10 till 4 Monday to Friday and I'll see you on the next one thank you for watching